this video we're going to look at how we find the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. So in this example it says find the HCF, which is the highest common factor, and the lowest common multiple of 60 and 200. And again, we're going to do this using the latter method. So first thing we're going to do is express each number as a product of primes. So we're going to start with the 60, and you divide by the smallest prime number, which is 2, and you get 30. You keep dividing by the, the number until you can no longer divide by it. So you divide by 2 again, you get 15. You can no longer divide by 2, so you move on to the next prime number, which is 3. You divide 15 by 3 and you get 5. You can no longer divide by 3, so you can move on to the next prime number, which is 5. Divide by 5 and you get 1. I always like to go until I end up with a 1. Let's do the same for the 200. So 200 divided by 2 gives you 100. Divide by 2 again gives you 50. Divide by 2 again gives you 25. And then try dividing by 3, and you can't divide by 3, so you move on to the next prime number, which is 5. Divide by 5, which is 5. Divide by 5, which is 1. So again, you finish with a 1. Now notice here, uh, I've gone with all my 2s as far as I can, then my 3s, and then as far as I can, then my 5s, and so on. Same here, I've gone with all my 2s, couldn't divide by 3, and I had to divide by 5. And it is important that you do it in that order. So starting with the smallest prime numbers and working your way up. Okay. HCF we're going to do first. So for HCF, you write your numbers out the long way. So without putting them in index form, so 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, your 200 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Now underneath it then write HCF, so highest common factor. And what you do is you circle what is common. So here, here I've got a pair of twos common, I have another pair of twos common, I have a two here but I haven't any more twos here, I have a three here but I haven't any twos down here, but I have a five common. And it doesn't matter if they're above each other or not, as long as there's a five in one row and a five in the other. Then your hi highest common factor is you read along one of these rows, either one doesn't matter, and you read whatever is in uh, the rings. So I've got a two, a two, and a five. Had I read along the other the 200, I would have had 2, 2, and 5 as well. So my HCF is 2 times 2 times 5. 2 times 2 is 4, and then 4 times 5 gives you 20. Okay, for the lowest common multiple, slightly different method. You do the same bit over here, the la uh, your ladder method, but then when you get your numbers, write them in index form. So 2 squared times 3 times 5. And likewise, your 200 will be 2 to the power of 3 times 5 to the power of 2. <coughs> okay, to get your lowest common multiple, what you do, you've got three different types of things here. You have 2s, powers of 2, powers of 3, and powers of 5. Now what you do is you take the biggest of each different kind of thing. So let's look at our 2s. Here I've got 2 squared, and here I've got 2 cubed. So the biggest is clearly 2 cubed. Then we've got a 3 here, but we don't have any 3s in the second one, so 3 is definitely bigger than no 3s, so we take a 3. Here we have 5, and here we have 5 squared. You take the biggest, so the biggest was a 5 squared. So if we just work that out, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, times 3, and 5 squared is 25. To do a sum like this, you could do 8 times 3 to give you 24, and then multiply by 25. Probably easier to do 8 times 25. You know, 4 lots of 25 gives you 100. So 8 lots of 25 would give you 200. So this really just becomes 200 times 3, which is 600. And that's it. Okay, the big thing to take away from this, highest common factors, write your two numbers the long way. And for lowest common multiple, write your two numbers in index form. And then you shouldn't go wrong. So then you have to use your ring method for highest common factors. And for lowest common multiple, you're just taking the biggest of each different kind of thing. And that's it.